Hi everyone, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got my little coffin tips out and we're going to do a press on nail set today. So I've got a whitey shade and this purpley shade. This one's called Electron. It's a really nice brighty pinky purpley shade. We've got Loyal, which is going to be our white. And then we also, of course, have some food coma. And that is going to work as our nudie background shade. So I'm going to apply food coma on all of the nails, actually. Then it'll go into the lamp and then we can crack on with the rest of the design. Today, we've got an animal print press on nail design mixed with some flowers and to brighten up the animal print with um, some around the corner and spring and sunshine and everything I thought I would incorporate the bright purpley pinky shade inside of the animal print so you see that in just a second to achieve the animal print we're going to use a stamping plate today and um, if you don't have this one I would greatly greatly um encourage you to get one it was it, well it is one of my most used stamping plates ever ever <laughs> um so i really really recommend you grabbing one i'll show you guys which one in a moment at the well at this stage of the video we're just going to do all of our white details before we crack on with the stamping um so we're going to stamp on all the areas where we're going to place some white so each nail has something else or something very similar going on but different at the same time so the firm is a french tip so right now i'm just doing a small line then coloring in the tip everything today i'm just using my nail art brush for but if you want it to be more time efficient if you just outline your small line first and then color in the tip with the brush from the bottle you will find yourself um coloring in the tips much quicker than i did today but this is the first one done. I will off camera go ahead and do a second layer. I only show you guys me doing the one layer on camera. As you can see, the what is a bit sheer compared to our background. We have a, obviously a pretty dark brownie background, so it would definitely need another coat. Now onto the index finger. This one's gonna have this squiggly line going on. I don't really know how to explain it very well, but I'm starting at the top left hand side and continuing it all around the nail and finishing it top right hand side. And I'm doing like a squiggle from the top to the bottom, going back up to the top, if that makes sense. So this part is the best part to watch the actual video um, to see what I'm doing. And again, I'm going to color around the outside of the nail. And that is again where we're going to stamp some animal print on it in a moment. So I'm just going to colour that in. After that one, we will work on the middle nail. And that one again will have a French tip. So I'm almost doing one squiggly line, one French tip, one squiggly line, one French tip kind of thing going on. Although the ring finger, we're not going to do anything on it. Later on in the video, we're going to actually place some flower charms on it with some gold charm on it too. Um, so that one I decided to just leave completely empty. I usually like to leave the ring finger empty just for some kind of crystal placement. I love playing about with charms and crystals and everything. So I almost give myself a nail to play about with in most of my press on nail sets when I get to do them. So here I'm just finishing up with the French dip. This one looks a bit more less sheer just because I think I used a bit more gel polish there than on the Thumb. so the thumb looks a bit more sheer but either overall we're still going to be doing two coats anyways off camera whether it looks pretty good or not I always do two coats especially on press on nails these press on nails are going to be just mine I'm not selling these or anything so if there's anything any steps that I miss don't worry guys this is mainly for video purposes and um, if I want to wear it on the random day I might do but most of the time it's just to film and show you guys different designs and um, do content for you guys so again, on the pinky, um, I'm doing the squealy line. My pinky today, I actually went for a larger size. I usually go for, I think it's like an eight on my pinky, but today I went for a seven because I find that eight is actually a little bit too small for me. And it was so funny working on this tiny, well, I would have thought it would be tiny because usually the eights are pretty tiny, but this one's a seven and I found it to be so much larger than an eight. And it was, I don't know, I just found it quite funny working on it because <laughs> usually I struggle on the tiny nails, but this one wasn't so tiny after all. So that was cool. Here it is, all done. Okay, we've got two layers applied and, and I managed to wipe off the tacky layer, but I can't remember. Or did I? Oh, I think I dropped all the nails actually <laughs> by accident, guys. So they're all matte looking because I dropped them. I knew that I wiped them for a reason, but yeah, it's because I dropped them as I was taking them all out of the lamp and yeah, they all fell. So I had to wipe the tacky layer off because 
the nails were tacky and it attached all the fluffs and everything wherever it fell so I had to clean it which means that when I'm stamping I have to do it really really fast we're not super fast but um, I can't leave it for too long so I'm trying to work faster than usual and of course the footage itself is very sped up so don't think I work this fast <laughs> it's sped up because we're constantly picking up that one image there one of the animal prints it's my most picked up one I just love it I just love how there's a lot of obviously um I just like to color in the centers basically of this animal print so it's usually my most picked up one so I really really like it this plate is beauty big bang and I get mine on AliExpress and I believe it's one of the ones that they even advertise on AliExpress whenever you search for beauty big bang plates it's one of those that actually they use for thumbnails I'm pretty sure um but it's a really really fun plate to have um I love it love 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 I'm not always the biggest fan of animal print really um but I create so much designs and just have an animal print is just a massive game changer and time saver because I could do this by hand it's quite easy to do by hand but having it it just makes it so much quicker like I'd be here double or triple the time trying to do this animal print and this way I can just have it perfect every single time without fail which is cool otherwise I'd probably be wiping non-stop trying to make the perfect animal print look and um feeling at it most likely <laughs> um so once i'm done i'll grab a lint free wipe and some acetone and i'll wipe away anything that transferred over on the nude part um and then we are on this stage here so i'm gonna pick up that purpley shade i don't know if it's like purpley or pinky like a neony pinky don't know i feel like it's in between the two and i'm just going to color in the center of each animal little print there it was actually quite fun to do and if there's any areas that didn't have too many of these like circles then I just kind of blobbed some purple there anyways so you find me doing that every so often just to kind of keep the pattern going otherwise I felt like if I didn't put a bit of purple in a certain area where it was lacking the circles it almost was very eye-catchy so I kind of wanted to maintain that purple shade across everywhere that I needed it really <laughs> so I'm going to do this on all four of our five nails the other five, of course, are already done. They're next to me that I'm looking for to remind myself what I'm actually doing here. <laughs> and then at the end of the video, I'll actually show you guys what it looks like on my hand, all done. And you can let me know in the comments what you think, if you liked it, if you didn't. I know that everyone's a big fan of animal prints, so it might be a hit or a miss for you guys watching. But hopefully, if not, then at least it maybe will spark some ideas for you if you're going to do some animal printy nails. This is now the third nail. I'll have as many links as I possibly can in, in the description. I have links for Madame Glam that we used today. We'll save you guys some money. Um, the tips that I'm using are McCart tips, I believe. Um, my metal stand is actually a metal file, <laughs> but I just don't place the files on it. Um, I just use it as my little stand. I use it because the metal itself is quite a strong metal, so the little well the little like plastic well not, not plastic I think the metal the little stands I've got my tips on stick very well to that metal plate file thing I've got going on that's why I use it I've always had used a regular little plastic thing that comes with the tips to hold them on but it's just the metal is just not strong enough and it keeps falling off so this is the best second thing that I've got now that that's done and cured, I'm going in with a matte top coat, I'm running low, of course as usual, and I'm going to apply on all the nails, and then the next stage will be to apply some crystals, bling these cuties up, and then I can show you guys the final result on my hand, and of course you already probably saw in the thumbnail, but you can let me know what you think, I'm not too sure how I feel about these, they're a bit out of my comfort zone when it comes to actual wearable designs, um, but yeah, let me know. So I'm just going to finish that up. This is a velvet matte top coat from Madame Glam, by the way, if you're interested. That will go into the lamp. Here they are matte. Time to bling these beauties out. So on these squiggly lines, we are going to pop three white flowers. You might have seen these flowers before. I've used them plenty of times. And I feel like it was a time where like everybody was using them. And um, I actually recently placed an order on Shein. And I got a bunch of them come through. A lot of colours. And I'm really happy because I actually picked them up more than I realized and um, there was a time where I had them for a while didn't touch them and then suddenly I've just been picking them up more and more maybe because we're approaching like the summer colorful vibes and I just find myself maybe drawn to the flowers but yeah I placed an order for more so now I've got more colors way more of them and I can just create more designs and not worry about running out of those flowers and not be able to recreate sets for you guys so that's done um, here I placed a charm on the ring finger and then I'm going to place 
three flowers at the top, three flowers at the bottom, one big and then two smaller ones next to the large one. Off camera, I'll place some cava beads in side of the flowers to create that little you know in a bit of the flower um so that that's not on camera and then i will also place crystals around the small line of both the thumb and the middle finger i'll show me you me working on the thumb i don't show you guys me working on the middle finger because it's identically the same as the thumb um, and it was a bit time consuming because I was trying to find the right sizes and as you can see my AB crystals on the size there are a mix and most of the time I prefer it that way but sometimes when I do these kind of nails it's a bit of a pain when I'm trying to find the exact same ones as the other thumb that I've done. It's usually easier to do when you're doing the full set at once but I did the first five fingers I think the day before and then today I was filming it so it's almost like you forget overnight. Um, which sizes you were working on so I had it next to me trying to figure out the right sizes but here it is so I do the largest size in the center and then the further up I get up the nail the smaller the size I'm using and of course I'm using the exact same size on both sides so if I'm placing I don't know one smaller size then I'm going to do the same on the opposite side so it's basically symmetrical as much as I can so here's me again looking for some tiny little ones popping it aside just to make my life a little bit easier we're going to finish up that side and remember i'll do the other thing off camera and then you can see it um on the final results on my hand any minutes in a second so here it is if you wanted to make it super extra you could place caviar beads but i didn't do that today just kept it as is okay and here are the final results i hope you guys liked it if you did please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i would love to see you all in my next video bye guys